You heard of Peachtree Corners, Georgia? If you lived in Atlanta, maybe you have. And if you're out of state, probably not. Stick with me, and today we will explore why Peachtree Corners, Georgia may be the best suburb in Metro Atlanta. Let's do it. Jonathan McCoy here with Keller Williams Realty, Chattahoochee North, Peachtree Corners, Georgia. Oh, I love me some Peachtree Corners. While it's only been incorporated city for a short time, Peachtree Corners has quickly become a premier Metro Atlanta city. Peachtree Corners is live, work, and play at its finest. From its booming technology parkway, where tech businesses are coming in droves, to the city center and forum where shopping, grocery stores, and restaurants abound, to the beautiful neighborhoods and high-achieving schools, Peachtree Corners has so much to offer. Let's start with living. The average home price in Peachtree Corners is about $364,000. That makes Peachtree Corners on the higher end when it comes to Metro Atlanta home prices. Peachtree Corners offers detached homes, townhomes, condos, and apartments. It has a little something for everyone. Though at the heart of Peachtree Corners, it is dominated by detached home neighborhoods. These neighborhoods have good sized lots and many have active swim and tennis HOAs. At its core, Peachtree Corners is very family centered, but recently there's been a lot of push for housing that meets the needs of singles and young marrieds. In addition to great housing, Peachtree Corners has some great schools with Simpson Elementary School and Peachtree Elementary, along with Pickneyville Middle School. When you look at the high schools, Peachtree Corners is unique as it has two public school options. There is Norcrice High School, which has an international baccalaureate program, and Paul Duke STEM High School. If you're not familiar, a STEM high school is a school that has a big focus on science, technology, engineering, and math. Both these high schools create great opportunities for kids to get amazing experiences, great education, and to put them in position not only to attend colleges in the U.S., but also colleges outside the U.S. For groceries, Peach Street Corners has Ingalls, Trader Joe's, Sprouts, and a new Lidl, all within less than a half a mile of each other. You can get all of your home needs met without having to travel very far to do so. Let's move on to work. Peachtree Corners is a very friendly business city. There's a huge emphasis on tech businesses. In Technology Parkway, there is a living laboratory that is testing autonomous vehicles and working on smart city technology. The Curiosity Lab is a place where startup companies and established companies can come and develop and test their tech. If you drive around Technology Parkway, you will see different types of lanes that you're probably not used to seeing when driving elsewhere. That's because if you're there at the right time, you will see a self-driving shuttle that uses the 1.6 miles of lanes to take people around Tech Parkway. Just amazing innovation that is happening in Peachtree Corners, and it is also partnered with Georgia Tech to host some classes in Tech Parkway and allow for research to be conducted in the area. If you're not going to work in Peachtree Corners, this location is still great for a short drive south on 141 to connect with 285 or just continue into Atlanta. Now for my favorite part, recreation in Peachtree Corners. I'm going to start with eating because I love me some food. Peachtree Corners has so much to choose from. There are a ton of restaurants located in the Forum, Peachtree Corners Town Center, and close by. From some amazing Cuban food at Mojitos to La Parilla and Kiko's Mexican restaurant, you've got fine dining at Redlands and Firebirds, some good pizza at Fire and Stone. The list goes on and on. If you're a breakfast or brunch person, then there's a first watch and a flying biscuit. For entertainment, you have Cine Bistro, which is a dine-in movie theater, and you also have Marlowe's Tavern, which is a fun atmosphere to hang out at. On the town green, there's this awesome sliding hill for kids and a couple of climbing areas. The town green also hosts local acts and cover bands. In addition, you can come and sit outside and watch some fun sports, from the Braves to the University of Georgia football games, which are consistently being shown on the screen at the town green. The Chattahoochee River runs right along the border of Peachtree Corners. 
the Chattahoochee is a great place for trout fishing, kayaking, tubing, or just sitting or walking along the Chattahoochee. In the hot Georgia summers, it's a great place to cool off. If you're looking for a fun park, then Jones Bridge Park is a great place to have a picnic, let your kids play in the playground, walk on the nature trails, and along the Chattahoochee River. Peachtree Corners continues to look into adding more biking and walking trails throughout its 17 square miles. I think one of the unique things about Peachtree Corners is that you have so much packed into a small area. Unlike uh, most of Metro Atlanta, where everything seems to be so spread out, Peachtree Corners really has put everything in one place. Whether you're visiting the area or moving to it, Peachtree Corners has a little bit of something for everyone. If you're thinking of relocating to the metro Atlanta area, then I put a link below for a free location guide. And if you like this video, you may be interested in one of these videos. Don't forget, I post every Thursday, so hit the notification bell. Click on the subscribe button. I will see you next time.